This weekend marks the last of the spring break season and tourists at South Florida's beaches will have to ring it in under an umbrella. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live at a very wet Fort Lauderdale beach to show us if the weather is keeping them away. Andrew. And after a very rainy day, now it's all about the wind. We're starting to see a little bit more life here at the beach, though, because it is nicer. At least it's not so wet. Keep in mind, this is supposed to be the last big spring break weekend. Businesses and visitors, though, they're worried about more storms. Rounding out spring break with rounds and rounds. It's all stormy. And rounds of cold, wet rain. Business owners not happy on this last unofficial spring break weekend. Some were hoping for a bit of a boost, but it's not stopping visitors in the thick of it from literally soaking it all in. You know how they're like lemon out of lemonades? We're making um, joy out of rain. Kaylee Jacks here from Dallas for her bachelorette party, taking full advantage on this now empty Fort Lauderdale beach. We saw the weather up, but my one friend, she goes, it never rains at the beach. So we were keeping that mentality because we already had everything booked. It does rain at the beach. We were originally supposed to go to South Beach, but we heard there's curfew. This crew from San Diego just in town for spring break, canceling their plans to spend the week in Miami Beach this year because of that crackdown and spring break curfew in an effort to curb the chaos we've seen there year after year. Many like them migrating north to Fort Lauderdale Beach. People are still going to go outside, yeah, you know, sure. like at night, like into clubs, but like maybe like this. Yeah, we've certainly seen the crowds shift throughout this season and some of the chaos follow. But some business owners tell us bigger picture business still isn't as great as it should be this year. The rain is not helping, but police are still on hand to manage the crowds expected to gather one last weekend. And again, at least the rain is gone for now. The barricades are all out on A1A because there's no curfew here. Unlike Miami Beach, police say they've only had to make 16 arrests out here in Fort Lauderdale. It's very windy, so we're losing the light. <laughs> uh, 16 arrests. Only two of them, though, were spring breakers. That's the latest here on Fort Lauderdale Beach. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.